Yo, what's it looking like? Yo, Ray, check this out. Hey, yo, Bobby, what the fuck, man? Listen, I'm getting a tattoo. I look down. And the tattoo say, you got verse. You just got verse? What you mean? Versing Pleasure P and Sammy. Little Sammy, Pleasure P. <laughs> right when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. And now I got to pull some people out. Here's the pizza you ordered. I ain't, I ain't ordered no pizza, man. Yo, yo. Got a hot going on. Y'all know who this is. Man, R&B beef is really back. It's really back. Ray J almost got the paws put on him. President Plea was at the uh, 50 Cent um, show. And there was a lot of stuff going on at that 50 Cent show, man. For real. Like, a lot of people was getting stumped the hell down. <laughs> when you get your back doing what he's doing, you have to put paws on President Plea. And yeah, yo, from, you know, Queens, man, them niggas, they know how to fight. So, man, Pencil P, you was drinking too much, man. You gotta stay off the liquor, alcohol, man. So, right now, we know, yeah, yo, he a calm dude. He's not like he was 15 years ago. But Pencil P had to do something for him to tick yeah, yo off. But yeah, yo, he's a calm dude now. You know what I'm saying? So, <sighs> R&B beef is really back. <laughs> Can't mess with Ray J, man. Ray J got the booty goons. Remember he said what he said back in the day with Fit Fabulous? So Ray J, he always gonna have somebody to have his back. So, you know, you know how that goes, man. Next topic. Miss Gallion is back at it again. She beef with her friend. Her friend was in the car with, you know, her, her and Tory Lanez, you know, was doing what they was doing or whatever. He's saying she, you know, allegedly she shot, you know, he shot her or whatever. She was in a car, so now they're not friends no more. Now, Megan Thee Stallion talking about she used to pay her rent, pay her bills, all that. Megan, if that's your friend, and I understand you might be mad at her because you feel like she might turn her back against you with the Tory Lane situation, just leave it alone, man. You rich. You know what I'm saying? You rich. It seems like you miserable, man. I, I mean, I could be wrong, but not miserable as, like, because you got mad money. It's just you must be missing something inside. And the only thing I could think of you missing inside is your mama. Your mama died, what, two years ago? And I think that might be the reason why you out here acting up like a little kid. You need to chill the hell out. If you paid her rent, you did it because it was a blessing. God gonna bless you. Why bring it up for? That's about females. Every time they get mad at you, they want to bring up something. And that's the point I'm saying. Megan, cut it out. Like I said, we understand you lost your mom and your dad. But damn, like, if you help a friend out, Keep it as that. You don't need to tell the whole United States of America that you pay somebody rent or you gave them money to, to get fooled or whatever. Come on, man. Let's top it. Now, the story is going on right now is Snoop was lying about getting Tupac to get signed by Death Row when he was with Death Row. Reggie, y'all yeah, know who Reggie is. He used to be CEO of, of Death Row back in a, you know, mid, at the shit night, went to jail for them five years. He ran the company and he said that the story didn't go that way. Uh, Snoop is lying about half of it. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta understand, murder was the case that I gave you was a soundtrack that Death Row had put out, and Tupac had did two tracks on that album. I don't think the tracks made it, but Shanae had gave him around two hundred to two two fifty thousand dollars to do the songs, and that's the most he ever got for any song, I guess, or feature or whatever. So he told Shanae, asked him, "Come sign, come sign with us." And Tupac said he wasn't ready yet. So that was back in 94. So Snoop, how you told Shug Knight to go get Snoop out of, you know, Tupac out of jail? Well, Shug Knight and Tupac had a, a discussion in 94. So Snoop, sometimes you be lying. Don't get me wrong. You are the biggest, biggest guy in, in America. Everybody, any, anywhere Snoop go, everybody knows him. He's bigger than Jay-Z. Jay-Z might have more money, but he's bigger than Jay-Z. He's bigger than a lot of people in the United States. Everybody knows who Snoop Doggy Dog. He go to any country and they know who he is. But Snoop, leave it alone. Tupac not here to defend himself. Should night, if they ask him an interview, maybe he would explain it. But he asked, he did explain it on a video a long time ago. So Snoop, we're not gonna say you 100% lying. You might have a little input to have Tupac come to the label, but you, you didn't come out and say that because it happened in 94 where you was on fire. So chill out with that. Hey, buddy, man. But subscribe to the channel, man. Put a like on the button. More news coming up later on. See what happens. Peace.